Am I not on? Okay. Sorry, everyone. Welcome yeah, back on. to a great... No break, Kenny. We're no going to go straight through. Yeah. Awesome. You got the whole half hour. Well, that's good. I got right. a lot to talk about. I got a big mouth. <laughs> uh, anyways, so who's with you in this studio? This is uh, Brian Shaddix. He plays with Whitewater, the band, a very good band here in town. And he's going to be helping me uh, doing some engineering in here, running the Nevada Radio Roundup. Oh, awesome. Yeah. He's a kind of a techie geek like you. Sweet, have him come in. I got questions for him. Okay, want to be All on right. the show? Come on over. Go on. Oh, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> good. How, was, how have you been? Doing great, man. Still alive. Good. Sorry, I have it. Mask mandates off. It was never a mandate anyway, but the mask thing's off from Sisulak. Awesome. Awesome. I, I, I'm excited. <laughs> hey. Our kids. There's no more child abuse with masks. I know. Yeah. I think. God, yes. I'm so excited about that. How you doing? Great. Let's get Brian on. There he is. Am I, okay, there you go. There you go. All right. How are you, man? Oh, great. So, Brian, Brian, it's nice to meet you. I've it's never met you, you before. <laughs> um, I kind of heard something about Eddie saying you're a co-host with Shannon Moll. I, I work on this show, uh, and uh, we banter back and forth and have some guests in. and Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That, that's amazing. So I'm guessing you've never heard my show. I have never heard your show. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so I like to torture people at the very beginning <laughs> and ask random questions that I like to call my quick fire questions. Torture. Yes. I <laughs> um, obviously, I don't have a guest, so you're going to get the questions. Cool. <laughs> I was just going to bore people with news and scare them to death. <laughs> so, okay. So. What is your full name? Asa Brian Shaddix. Asa? Asa. That's an awesome name. Yeah, it's very cool. Very biblical. I think my family uh, was very into that. I named my son Elijah, kind of for the same. There's that Asa second. I'm the, I'm the second. There's an Asa third. Okay. So we, we did three generations like that. So do you call him Trace? <laughs> His nickname is Bo. Oh, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> Hello. Funny. Out of the blue. Uh, what's your business name? Or what do you do? I, I sell copiers here in town and document technology for Ray Morgan Company. Oh, right on. Yeah. Well, I, I need to Have get you heard of them? No. <laughs> How many copiers do you need? <laughs> uh, well, I'm a managed service provider on the full-time side. Well, there you go. So we should wow. really get together and talk. Yeah, we should. Because... I got a lot of customers. We all need each other in one way or another. Oh, yeah. I don't want to deal with copiers. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> kind of jobs you've had in the past? In the past, I've, I've played in uh, many bands. Uh, uh, that was part of my life for about 25 years. I grew up uh, in California playing in Huntington Beach in L.A. Uh, then I got into digital technology about 20 years ago, which was copiers. Started at Toshiba, went to Icon, went over to Global. These are just the big companies. Yeah. And then now I've ended up here at Ray Morgan for the last 11 years. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I actually would recommend Toshiba's because I love Toshiba's. It's the first place I ever worked. Yeah. Uh, in Modesto. Yeah, they had a branch up in Reno, and I think they closed it. They I think they I think they did. I'm not sure, but I, I heard they were doing that. Yeah, because it, it was... Right before COVID, I was still pushing them, and then well, I can't even get a hold of my person anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> I'm taking it. They closed. I I'll be I'd... your new contact. Oh, okay. That'll work. <laughs> um, so if you are listening, Angelita, I'm sorry. I might be switching. <laughs> <laughs> um, we already talked about your family, so who's your favorite superhero and why? Favorite superhero? Oh my gosh! Well, I you know I, I I hate to go with this old cliche, but I think my father was my hero. I'd love to I'd go into work with him when I was a kid. I'd go sit there in the lobby and wait for him for eight hours until he'd get out of work. And if you wanted my my movie superhero, of course it'd be Superman because I grew up with uh, the the ones with um, oh, who's who's the first Superman he played with. Uh, Richard Pryor was in the show. I oh, think. the black Gene, and white one? Gene Hackman. He broke his neck. Christopher Reeves. Cri Christopher yeah. Reeves. Oh, okay. Thank Movies. you, Shannon. Got it. So that, that's, uh, that would be my superhero. Oh, all right. 
Uh, what <laughs> are your hobbies? My hobbies, I play with the band Whitewater. So we'll be playing at the Peavine Tap House on the 25th from 8 to 11. That's uh, out in Somerset area. Really cool gig. That's what I do. I have, uh, I collect guitars. And my other hobby now is to come on and uh, learn learn the ropes here and help out when needed and be part of the show. Awesome. Well, welcome on my show, too. Well, I appreciate it. Because I like to meet new people. <laughs> uh, what keeps you up at night? Uh, lack of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Now, the biggest geek mm -hmm. you would want to have drinks with. Oof, the biggest geek I'd want to have drinks with. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> That's good. Um, you know, gosh, I, I, could, I, I would say uh, Elon Musk, maybe. All right. That would probably be the guy that would uh, be interesting. Want to pick his mind? That'd be nice. So do you have an Apple or Android phone? I have an Android. Oh, I love <laughs> you. No. Oh, you like it? Oh. Uh, I hate Apple. Uh, uh, yeah. So, Mac or PC? I do a PC. You're always welcome on my show. Am I good? You okay. are good. All right. Um, how old <laughs> were you when you got your first computer? Um... <laughs> I used to sell them at the good guys when they first came out with the Pentium Towers, they called them, the Pentium 10 or something, uh, four gigs of RAM or the four megs guys? of RAM. Huh? The good guys? Yeah. Do you remember the good guys? Not a clue. Um, they probably didn't make it up here. They're up in Northern California. They had about 88 stores, but I think that was the big problem is too many stores, too much action, too much money going out. Probably could have kept it a little more family but we sold the pentium towers there and they were so expensive from four megs of ram like i said they came with nothing um, um you got the uh, online it would take it would go slowly down the the picture until you finally saw whatever you were trying to get to oh back of the dial oh, days 1980s something early 90s all right when the cell phones were that big and they had a big old antenna and Oh, when they push radiation through your head? Yeah, <laughs> but they're trying. That's the best. It might have affected me a little. Hey, whatever worked. <laughs> I read a story about executives who used to have the big cell phones, and yeah. they, you know, they would clip it to their belt. Yes. There goes my pen. Bless you. Um, but the they would clip it to their belt and there was a high number of testicular I can't talk cancer <laughs> oh, Balls testicular cancer, cancer. Yeah. Testicular. <laughs> <laughs> well either way so I just thought it was funny I was like no babies no babies no babies <laughs> well for that generation it could be a good thing could be a bad thing I don't know right um, so are you a DC or Marvel fan Oh gosh, I have so many comic books in a in a box at home too. Uh, I would probably have to say Marvel. Marvel? Yeah. How about movies? Uh, favorites? You mean? Yeah. Deadpool, maybe. Um, okay, so so Marvel. Okay, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, favorite board game? Favorite board game? Well, I'm 58, so it'd have to be Monopoly. Oh, good choice. Kissopoly. <laughs> Kissopoly. <laughs> hey, I love Monopoly. I have Harleyopoly also. Oh, that's cool. Harley Davidsonopoly and Kissopoly, believe it or not. <laughs> wow. it's, it's worth about 400 bucks, that game. Are you talking about like Kiss? Like, <laughs> yeah, Kissopoly. Kiss, okay. yep. Yeah, yeah they, the yeah. demons, the devils. <laughs> oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> they make them now where you use, it's all credit card, and you, have you seen those? they got a little plastic thing, you put the credit card in, it charges you, and that's so, awesome. No cash. Right. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh my God! It saves so much time. Oh, uh, <laughs> they have. Uh, I play Monopoly Junior every once in a while with my little guys. Yeah. So much fun. Yeah. Because the it takes like 20 minutes and you're done. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bell. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when we were young and the game would go four hours into the night and yeah yeah somebody was always stealing from the bank and we still do that yeah yeah <laughs> well, <laughs> nothing's changed yes of course. When the kids aren't looking, he just swipes some extra you cash. <laughs> win. Dad's so good at this. I don't get it. He hasn't got bought one house yet. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, what we're going to go to right now is the news. 
Well, I guess not. I guess we're spinning the Monopoly wheel. <laughs> Let's play Monopoly. <laughs> I want Park's place. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Google, their Android phones, mm -hmm. they are making it more private on their apps. So how are they doing that? Uh, basically, they're going to be limiting the tracking, the data tracking, oh, on all their applications and also on the Chrome browsers. So is that the thing I get on Google once a month where it shows where I've been? And mm -hmm. right, yeah, that's scary a little bit. So. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. So uh, basically, they're going to be breaking that down so that it's not tracking us as much. Oh, thank you, Google. Yeah. Um, yes. I know about six months ago I reported that they were getting there was like a lawsuit about it, right? Whatever, but now they're dropping it down to almost nothing. Well, they send that that email out to everybody. Someone's going to go, "Hey, wait a minute! How did they know how I got there?" Oh, right. I mean, you can't figure out how your phone knows what you want to buy or what you're buying. It knows where you're going. What uh, you're doing. You know, I'm a conspiracy theorist when it comes to technology. Sometimes. Me too. Which ends of being I just don't care anymore. Right. <laughs> exactly. Kind of thing. I had this discussion with this um his name his business card says Rye on but it's Ryan <laughs> is his name. Uh, <laughs> but I can't remember what company he works for. Yeah. Um I just remember the Rye on. But um he does cybersecurity had we both were talking about how we just don't care anymore like <laughs> what can you do right you're if you're gonna get hacked you're gonna get hacked if you're gonna be you know Good job. oh i love when i hear background noise like, <laughs> what, what did channel say uh, <laughs> good show oh okay good <laughs> um but Basically, if it, you're going to be hacked, it's going to be hacked. So why even try? You know that they know where you're at. You walk into a casino, they geo-track you. Oh, yeah. Everyone knows who's around there. Yeah, it, it's all, it's worrisome. But at some point, you know, technology just keeps leaping forward. And what are you going to do? What's your end result? Do you not want to use a phone? Do you not want to use a computer? Yeah. Well, how are you, you going to hide? Like, I mean, yeah. you can't hide nowadays. Nope. The... Um, there's a book out there that actually Ryan recommended where he basically said the only way to truly hide yourself nowadays mm -hmm. is to push out so much fake information that they don't know where to go. Right. They don't know what to think of you. Right. But, or you go off grid completely and you're searching for, like, you're doing your own hunting, your own everything. Right. And So just keep the track. And I bet someday that won't even work because those satellites are watching us. It's dirty. It's getting that way. If yeah. it isn't that way already. You're right. Yeah. I, I'm thinking, you know, the robots are going to take over. Skynet, it's going to happen. If you're old geezer and like that movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, apps, I see I see the uh, movie, even the movies from the 70s. The Soylent Green type movies and all that stuff we watched and were scared growing up. It's starting to... All kind of weird things are coming to fruition. What, what were these guys thinking way back then? Because it's starting to happen. And some of these robots they're making... They're just setting us up. It's crazy. They're setting us up all this time. Yeah, it's okay. We'll be dead before. <laughs> That's what I keep are. thinking. I'll just be gone. Hopefully my kids make it. Yeah. Good luck, kids. <laughs> I'll teach you how to hack. It's right. all yours. I'm passing it. Um, how old are your kids? I have uh, kids up to 40. I have a 21, 25... 31 and 40. Oh, you're lucky. <laughs> Out of school. I have 11 and 8 Ooh. and a 5-year-old. How did that go this last couple of years? The teachers did the best they could. Okay. Um, but that when they first pulled them out of school, mm -hmm. irritated me because of the, like, I don't think the, and please forgive me, the school district, I think you guys are doing a great job. But... They were just reviewing, and some kids, it really hurt, because they kept reviewing material versus teaching new material. Oh, dear. When really? When COVID first happened. Uh, after that, we were like, screw that, you're going to school. You're not going to stay home and just review. Oh, that's what that's online. Yeah. Yeah. And then, for my little guy, his language is behind a little bit and i really do believe 
that it's because the teachers have to wear uh, were wearing masks. Sure. So they couldn't see the mouth movements and how, like, I don't know if you remember going teaching your kids or you being taught, the teacher would look at you and be like, the, the. Right, like, right. Expressions, mouth yeah. movements. Yeah. And, like, over-exaggerate the movement of the mouth. Yes. You can't do that with a mask on because the only thing you're doing is sticking your tongue on a piece of paper. Uh, <laughs> it cloth. sounds like, mm, mm. Yeah. So yeah. my youngest, I feel, doesn't have the mouth movements correctly oh. that he should. Wow. And I'm worried that he might have a speech delay because of it. He's already a third child. So right. that's all right, <laughs> right there. You're kind of screwed, but <laughs> he's adding more difficulties, more pressure. Yeah. So no, I get you. That yeah. Good. Um, the reason I brought that up is Roblox, which is a common kids game yeah. right now. Uh, according to the BBC, because I do a lot of, of my research on BBC news. Okay. Because America yeah. mainstream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. It's America. I totally understand. <laughs> um, not everything is reported correctly. Yeah. Or no. the gruesome stuff is not put yeah. out there. Yeah. Well, but we couldn't handle it. You know. Roblox, the child game, they're seeing more sexual acts happening on it. I've been seeing that, yeah. And it's pretty brutal. I was shocked. I was like, what? Yeah. You... You let your little kids on there. Like, my five-year-old plays it all. Like, he wanted me to play this morning with him. And I was like, oh, no. I'm going to have to start playing with them because I didn't know this. It's not all the right. channels. But, like, there's a report of one. Like, because when you go into Roblox, they have, like, different, like, places you can go. Sure. There was one place where there was a naked man wearing a dog collar. So, really, he wasn't naked. He had a dog collar. <laughs> He had some covering. Being led by a woman wearing a bondage outfit. Well, that's just not good. Yeah. Well, like, really? But it's okay. She was accompanied by two strippers dancing on a bar. Oh, my. So that's Life's you know, lessons at a very young age. Right? Yeah. But, I mean, there was... Um, Let's leave some interest, some mystery to all that. Oh, yeah. No. That's out the door. These kids are... So crazy nowadays. Huh. Um, and then there was another report of a guy wearing a Nazi uniform walking around. And um, the Roblox told BBC that there is going to be a zero tolerance for any content behaviors of any kind, and they're going to take swift action to fix it. Good luck. Really? <laughs> Yeah, and this was reported two hours ago. Oh, my gosh. So, hopefully they fix this. Oh, my gosh. Um, I couldn't even imagine. Right? How, just to make it even more difficult on you, as well as your children. Right? Well, my thing is, like, I was thinking, as I was reading this article, I was like, how did they do it? Those, like, you, you're like a robot <laughs> walking yeah. around. That's crazy. I'm like, seriously? Yeah. No, I understand. But, yeah. So, uh, how familiar are you with technology? Um, somewhat. I, I run a digital studio at home. I do mm -hmm. some of my own songs, so I record myself. I do the tracks. I'm not. Uh, I'm not an IT person by by trade, though. But you deal with a lot of IT issues. Yes. Dealing with the printers, because I'll be honest, as an IT professional, uh, I hate printers. Exactly, and I and that's what I tell you know. I let my customers know if you have an outside IT, let's make sure they know if they don't know the printer, they need to get together with my people and let us help set it up so it doesn't go wonky on them. And everybody needs help with it with a copier. They change all the time. You've got new technologies. Yeah, I honestly, I'm like whatever like i don't want anything <laughs> to do with it if if you tell me you're getting a new printer i'm like cool make sure you get a service contract on that exactly <laughs> get somebody to come out and set that thing up like i will program it i will program it into the network uh -huh. i will do your computer but i ain't touching that thing yeah there yeah and people want me to like to clean them and i'm like Pfft. no see that's the that's where we do it's called managed print services you don't uh, in my opinion, IT should not be getting involved in cleaning printers and putting the screws in and, and pulling things out. And that's not the, that's not the IT job. The IT job is to work the network and know the background and 
what's going on in your, oh in your system. Yes, thank yeah. you. Like, <laughs> IT, like when people say IT, it, they think if it has an electrical going to it, it's yes. IT. And it drives me nuts. Like, I've actually been called in, and if you're listening to me, you know who you are. <laughs> called me in. It is a salon in town. Uh-huh. To fix their uh, vacuum. Oh, my. Their in-wall vacuum. You don't know how to do that? No, I do know how to do it. <laughs> but I was called in to fix their their vacuum. Um, what else have I? They, like, cash drawers, little things like that. I'm like, oh, I, my gosh. The, right? Where's the keyboard? That, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, a lot of people don't don't really. And, and you know, and everybody, they've got all these people involved. Uh, really, what they need, like you. Mm-hmm. And then they need copier people to be responsible for the copier and print duties and let yeah. you run the network yeah like and i don't mind coordinating that mm-hmm. but that's just ridiculous like, right and that's all you should have to do like people automatically think it oh you do websites you do this you do that you do that no nope, it doesn't work Not and i really. bet that's how they do it with you guys i know that, that one of your yeah. competitors yeah started an msp mm-hmm. because they were getting that a lot which I would highly advise against it because you don't deal with our side. Right. Unless you get the right person in the right place. And that's yeah. And when people call us for that, you know, I have to say, look, there's, there's always a charge on things like that because it's not what we do up front. That's in the background. Those are solutions. And solutions are separate from fix my vacuum in the wall or whatever it is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> big charge. Big charge. Yeah. <laughs> but, a little extra for you, sir. Yeah, right. But yeah, originally what I was going to te- talk about was yeah. like cyber numbers. I ta- just taught a class to this Rotary Club um, oh. mm-hmm. yesterday, actually, and I thought it was great because, like, and I'm going to stereotype if you belong to a Rotary Club, please don't get offended. But I'm a former ah. Rotarian. Oh, <laughs> yeah. See, you don't fit what I like. I prepped it as a, you know, 55 and above, uh, all retirees mm-hmm. kind of yep. environment. Right. And it wasn't. There was actually <laughs> quite a few younger individuals. Did you get fined? Did, you, got, I, did you have to pay money? No. <laughs> I would have, you If know, you're a Rotarian, you get fined every meeting. I would have been giving him the... <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> Like, I went through so much, like, low-level computer stuff that just watching their faces and how shocked they were Uh that, like, I was telling them different products, like, to do backups. Right. Like, if you have a, um, a disk, a platter hard drive, and you're storing it in your safe, for yep. protection, and you're not powering it up every once in a while. Right. They didn't know that it dies. Right. Just sitting there. It can, yes. And I asked them, I was like, have any of you guys ever heard of Half Life? <laughs> and they're like, yeah. And I was like, magnets have half lives. Right. So you're demagnetizing over time. You got about five years, and that thing's gone. It's, yeah. And people were like, oh. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> this is basic people. Yeah. And then um, there was this one who asked me about cell phones, about taking pictures of like social security cards and credit cards and stuff like that. Is it, you know, when they do a factory reset, does it actually ah. work? Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, well, no. Data, once you make data of any kind, it's there forever. It's in the cloud. It's in the cloud. It's on the device. It doesn't really go away. Right. And, like, I was telling them that I stuck my a refurbished phone from my carrier on to a data recovery server. Right. And I was able to recover everything. Ooh. Scary, huh? Yeah. And so they were just like, what? And I was like, you take the risk of what you want. And that's what you that's can true. Handle. That's amazing, too. Yes. Yeah. But anyways, we definitely need to get together. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Nope. No worries.